Well, hello, fixers. We are back. And today we are looking at another crappy USB uh, adapter plug expander thingy. Uh, this one I bought. And to be honest, it was utter crap. Well, you can probably hear that. Um, these ports work when they want. The only thing that works consistently is these lights. Believe it or not. If I give you an example. And just whack it in here. See the light? Just about. Yeah. See them? There we are. But these actually work in is very dependent on how it feels at any given point. It's ridiculous. So I thought we'd take a look, see if there's anything wrong. Uh, if there's nothing wrong, well, we can't fix it. And if it's just because it's absolute cheap crap, it's very, very light. I'm going to prove this point now. It's on grams. 41 grams it weighs. In comparison... This reel of solder, 83. So, take that as you will. Um, it's very light. Now I'm not contributing weight to awesomeness because if that's the case, I'm extremely awesome. Uh, but you get a feel for some things don't you, when it's very hollow. So anyway, let's stop Diddy Darling and take a look, is it? I assume this is how you get into it, because there's no screws. Yeah, this pops open. See? Big scratch on the board there. Eh? I thought for a second it was um, corrosion, but it's not, it's just a colour on the right end of there. And you just got these little LED lights. God, look at that. See that? That's better. Have a look at this. It's not even. It's not even any solder on it. Some around the back. Same by there. Not as bad, but same by there. It's really, really poor, isn't it? Same year. So I get you know not as bad again as I said. Same day. Look, there's a hole in the solder by here as well. So it's not even soldered properly there. And by here, there's next to no solder on the joint either. I can't see anything particularly wrong with it though. In in the sense of this having actually, you know, the solder's bad. You can sort that out.
All right. The legs all work. God, this soldering on this is terrible, isn't it? Where was that scratch I saw? Oh, done by a look. It's not going to cause any problems, but still. Just goes to show how these things are so nastily thrown together. But as I said, the problem is... Look at these. That's soldered in. That isn't. That isn't. That soldered in. That isn't. That soldered in. That isn't. Oh my god! I know they just there for. That's just really bad, isn't it? I think what we'll do here is just reflow everything and give a bit more solder. It's really hard to show you um, the problems when they're intermittent. But I'm going to solder all these joints here. I'm going to put new solder on these ones here. I'm going to reflow these. And then we'll see if that improves it. But it is pretty, pretty poor, isn't it? It's pretty poor. Oh, this, oh my god, what are we gonna do? Well, the only thing wrong here is just poor manufacturing, ultimately. So, let's I'll dig in and start uh, sorting this out. Yeah, we need to check those two little capacitors for shorts. So it's ground there. Oh, it's ground here anyway. Let's put it on there. No, they're all fine. So I guess the next uh, thing is to go and test it. So let's go and test it. So let's test it. No, don't worry about that mess on my mouse mat. It looks a lot worse on camera than it is, but it is still making this coffee, everything on it. Anyway, so use my mouse, right? My uh, vertical mouse. And it's Bluetooth, or you can use the wire. And it's set to off at the moment, so that means the Bluetooth's off. And I've plugged it in. Here, look. Let me see. Plugged it in. Into the first port, right? So, right, first port's now working. See, first port's now working. So if I move it over to the second port now, second port's now working. Third port, third port's now working. Fourth port, fourth port's now working. Right, because that's all I need this for, is to power. Right? I don't need data transfer and all that sort of nonsense. Um, I speed up my arse uh, but I just needed the power things because I got a lot of things on my desk 
But other than that, that is now seems to be working for the time being. But it just goes to show, doesn't it? You know, these things are cheap for a reason. If uh, if they put that amount of liquid metal into the T1000 on Terminator 2, he would have been anorexic. But there we are. Anyway, thanks very much for watching this uh, short video. And I'll see you next time. Until then, ta-da! But